Oh, yes. Wonderful afternoon to you all over there. May God bless you as you are getting ready to listen to the word of God. But before then, let's go. Don't look down on me, don't look down on me. Don't look down on me, don't look down on me, don't look down on me. Oh, I am blessed. I am blessed. Oh, I am blessed. Oh, I am blessed. Are you ready there? You are blessed. Come on. Hey, some people say, I be poor, I no get money. They call me names. They say, I be cool baller. But they no no say, Jesus now my banker. Hey, he cares for me. He protects my life. Yeah, everywhere I go, I the win, I the shine. Look at me well, well. Look at me well, well. Look at me well, well, look at me well, well, I'm a miracle child, oh, I, oh, 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 yes, you are blessed, if you are blessed over there, come on, begin to dance along with me, come on, some people say you are a poor man, you can never make it, but they are not your God. Let this song encourage you this afternoon because Jesus is Lord. Come on, hey! Don't look down on me, don't look down on me, don't look down on me. Don't look down on me, don't look down on me, don't look down on me. Hey, oh, I am blessed. Say you are blessed. I am blessed. Hey, I am blessed. Oh, I am blessed. Yes! They look down on you. Hey! Some people say, I be poor, I no get money. They call me names, they say I be cool baller. Yes, they no no say, Jesus now my banker. He cares for me, he protects my life. Hey, everywhere I go, at the wind, at the shine. Hey, look at me well, well. Mm, look at me well, well. Hey, look at me well, well. Chineke, look at me well, well. I'm a miracle child. You are a miracle child. Come on. Oh, I am. Oh, you are blessed. Come on. Uh. You are blessed. In the morning, you are blessed. Hmm? Come on. Oh, yes. My brother. Reverend Father, I'm Michael. God bless you. You are blessed, my brother. Nobody should look down on you for, because you are blessed. Don't look down on me and don't look down on yourself. I am blessed. Say, I am blessed over there. Hey, I am. Thank you, brother. I can see you. Written it. Don't look down on me. 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 Hey, hey, oh, hey. Come on. Oh yeah. Give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Hey. Hey. Sing it, I am blessed. Sing it, I am blessed. I am blessed. Come on. I am blessed. Yes, Kadiaju James. You are blessed from America. God bless you, Sister James. You're blessed. Apostle, you're blessed. Come on. Sing it. Hey. Come on. Now. Sing it. Come on. Hey, hallelujah, come on, you are blessed, you are blessed, you are blessed, hallelujah, hallelujah, you are blessed. That is one of my tracks in my latest music, I'm blessed. I think I so, I so much fall in love with that music that uh, I want you, my brethren over there, to, to really enjoy it. I'll put in the video very soon, and I think I will use it to commemorate the, the celebration of my sister's birthday next month. I, I released that music about a uh, few months ago, but you see, I'm not a commercial musician. I know I, I sing to, to, to praise the Lord and I sing to educate and to encourage people. But I think that music will be very good to you. The title is I Am Blessed. I want to thank you so much for watching. My brother, Reverend Father Amir Michael from Lagos. God bless you, my brother. Uh, greetings to everybody in Nigeria. 
Sister Kadiatu James, God bless you for watching. Thank you very much. Dancing for the Lord. Yes, I love dancing the Lord. Thank you very much. Bishop uh, Sodnia. So, so yes, Hakma. Yes, you are watching. God bless you. Thank you so much. My name is Bishop Peter Kayode Falarubo, the presiding bishop of Awakeness International Church, Accra, Ghana. Yes, before we start anything, I just want us to pray. Father, we just want to thank you for giving us every cause to thank you and to jubilate and to rejoice in you. I'm dancing for you. Everybody is dancing for you because you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. Yes, we have every cause to celebrate you. We have every cause to give thanks to you because you are the source of our life. You are the joy of our life. You are our protector. You are our defender. You are our everything. In you, we have life. In you, we have testimony. Lord God, we bless your name. We want to share your words, oh God. The listener, bless them with this wonderful word they're going to hear. Speak to them yourself. I do not know how to talk. I do not know how to preach. But Holy Spirit will pray within me. Holy Spirit will preach within me. And so everyone, every heart, soul, and body that will listen to the voice, my, my voice, let them be blessed today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Good afternoon, my brother, once again. I just want to discuss a very short message. It's going to be very short. But I want to please... Enjoy you share this message, this video with all your friends as you are listening to me right now. As many contact as you can share it to, please do that because we are all soul winners. We are all agents of salvation. We are all agents of regeneration. And so there are millions of souls who need Christ. And a lot of people who go to church, they don't even know their right to let. Please, this message will encourage them. Please. In the name of God, share it among your friends on your Facebook. Call your friends, I mean, notify your friends and family to listen to me. My short title, the title of my message, very short, is We Are Running the Same Race. What did I say? We are running the same race. Who are the people running the same race? Let's look, take for example, in the church. We have a lot of categories of people in the church. We have the church members there. We have the ushers, we have the choristers, we have the pastors, we have the head pastors, we have the head cleaners, we have the electricians, we have the technicians, we have every department in the church, including the head pastor, the bishop, the archbishop, the reverend, the pastor, the catechist. We are all running the same race. Yes, and I very soon you're going to understand what I'm trying to say. Every one of us has a destination. Every one of us has a destination. Therefore, as we run the same race, we must run this race well. I should not disturb you. You should not disturb me. Because we all have the same destination. We are heading towards the same destination. And it is our work. The way we handle our assignment, the way we handle our relationship with God, will determine whether we will end well, whether we will end together in the same destination. And where is the destination? Eternal kingdom is a destination. Reigning with Jesus to eternity is a destination. And so if I'm a pastor, I am also working my own salvation with fear and trembling. If another person is a chorister, that chorister is also working out his or her salvation in fear and trembling. If I'm an usher, as an usher, I'm also working my salvation in fear and trembling. If I am a pastor or a deacon, a deaconess, or a leader, or a deacon. I am also working my own salvation with fear and trembling. So whatever, if I'm a cleaner, I clean the church premises. I am also working my salvation. I am working toward my destination because my destination is eternal kingdom. I should not disturb you and you should not disturb me. I should never stop you from doing your work that you are convinced in your heart that will take you to eternal kingdom. And so we are all running the same race. No matter the position we have here on earth, all of us are going to be on the queue on the judgment day to meet Father Jesus, who is the chief judge. Whether you are the head pastor, whether I am a bishop, whether I'm a choir miller, whether I'm a husband of a pastor, whether I'm a wife of a pastor, whether I'm a deacon, whether I'm a synod elder, whether I am a evangelist, whether I'm a deaconess, all of us, we are going to queue at the gates of heaven to answer our calling, to give account of our steward. What I'm, we are equal. What I'm seeing in effect is that we are equal in the presence of God. 
We are one in the presence of God. God does not practice favoritism. The same measure he will give to me as a pastor, bishop, is the same measure he will use to judge a cleaner in the church. The same measure he's going to use to judge me as a head pastor, as a pastor, as a deacon, as a deaconess, is the same way he's going to use to judge a choir member. The same measurement is going to use to judge a deaconess, a pastor, a secretary of the church, a worker, a, an usher, is the same measure is going to use to judge a member of the church. So what is important is for us to identify where we are going. What is important is for us to be focused in our goal. What is your goal? What is our goal? Why are we created on them? What is it that God wants me to do for him? What is it that God wants you to achieve for him? What is it that God wants you to achieve on earth? What is it that God wants you to achieve for your generation and your family. Remember, you are not created empty. You were born with a purpose. You were born to accomplish certain things for God, for your community, for your country. Yes, you've got some potential in you, which you must identify and pursue in order to reach your goal. Hallelujah. Please, I just want you to flip quickly have it. open the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24. Do you not know that the runner in the stadium all race? When you see the runner in the stadium, everybody race on your max set, go. You can be a pastor, you can be an evangelist, you can be a pastor wife, you can be a pastor husband, you can be a leader, you can be an elder, you can be a senior elder, you can be a prophetess, you can be an usher, you can be a cleaner, you can be a security in the church. When the race starts, everybody on your mark sets go. Everybody start a race with a mission, with a purpose to end the race well. Where are we going to end the race well? Where are we going to end the race? In heaven with our God. And as we run the race, it, it symbolizes our life, our character, our attitude, our relationship with God, the way we handle the things of God, the way we interact with fellow human beings, our obedience toward the scripture, what God has asked us to do, and those things that he has asked us not to do, those are the things that we are going to encounter on our way as we continue to run the race of life, the Christian race, as we continue to run that race. These are what God is going to use as a standard to measure our sincerity, to measure our faithfulness, and to measure our state of being born again. Hallelujah. Somebody, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Do you not know that the runner in a stadium, all race, we all run, but only one receive the prize. Only one receive the prize. Yes. Only one received the price. In this case, the price for a successful Christian life is the standard kingdom. You wear the crown of life. After you must have run your race conscientiously, in purity, in holiness, and in, in accordance with the will of God. Run in such a way that you may win the race. <laughs> run in such a way. My sister Nick, Nick Douglas from New York, God bless you, my dear sister. Run, run such that you may win the race. Our intention as children of God, we must be focused, we must, be, we, we, we must maintain a high moral standard, and we must focus on our mission, we must focus on our goal. What is that goal? To win the race. To win the race. That is the ultimate. Yes, whatever you're doing in the house of God, whatever you're doing in your community, in your office, I mean, among your family, your interpersonal relationship with friends and relatives, you must know that you are running a race. And you must be focused on that race. And in order to receive, I mean, the crown of glory on the last day. Hallelujah. For the Bible says, Jesus told us in the book of Revelation, I am coming very soon. And I'm coming with my reward to give to us according to what we have done. That is the glory of the race. That is the end of the race. Hallelujah. Sometimes it saddens my heart. We are in Christendom. We allow sectarianism. We encourage classic arrangement in churches. These ones are lower. These ones are higher. I came to tell you today, we are all running the same race. 
every one of us will receive our own judgment there is not there's going to be there's not going to be special treatment on the judgment day yes archbishop will not be arranged in one side bishop will not be arranged in one side senior elders will not be arranged in one side choir will not be arranged on one side ushers will not be arranged on one side pastor's wife pastor's husband pastor's family pastor's relatives bishop cousins and relatives will not be arranged and say follow bishop no Every one of us, we're going to be on the same queue. And the same measure. Look, what is the measure? What is the standard? Our works. Our level of spirituality. Our obedience to the work of God. How many lives have we imparted on earth? How many lives have we been able to touch? How do we carry out the assignment God has given to us? How do we relate with our members? How do we relate to our church members? How do we relate with our, with our family? How do, do, we, do we practice the true Christianity that Jesus taught us? Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. Do we practice that to later? These are the things that God is going to use, that Jesus is going to use as a measurement of judgment. It is not our title. Our title has no place on the day of judgment. Yes, I told people who care to listen. Even if God give me, make me an usher in the kingdom of God, I will be so excited. Yes, because if he if made me an usher, I will be so excited. If God make me one of the choir members, I will be so excited because all the titles over there has no meaning without good deeds. All the titles that we have here has no meaning without practical Christian, I mean, uh, 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 Christian practices. Yes, all the titles that we bear here, I mean, has no, has, it, 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 it has no meaning on the judgment day. It is our works. It is the fruit of the Spirit that will exhibit it here, here. This fruit of the Spirit, peace, joy, love, kindness. Yes, living a life of holiness, living a life of purity, living like Jesus Christ, talking like Jesus Christ, behaving like Jesus Christ. These are the measurements, these are the standards that God is going to use to judge us. And so, with this just short message, my dear brother and sister, listen to me. I know you're really blessed this, this day. We are running the same race. So when you find yourself in the church, no matter your position in the church, don't look down on the other person. Don't look down on that usher. Don't look down on that choir member. Don't look down on that woman cleaning the toilet at the back of the church because you are a leader, because you are an archbishop, because you are a bishop. Listen to me. Church belongs to God. And it must be run according to the dictates of God. Church belongs to God. Jesus Christ himself is the founder of the church. He told Peter, upon this rock, I will build my church. The church of God is church of God. Where love must prevail. Where there must not be any classic arrangement. Where nobody should look down on another. Where nobody should hate one another. Where no one should, should show bitterness against his or her neighbor. What you cannot do in the church and somebody is doing it, you should not be happy. You should not, you should not be bitter about that. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Look, competition should not be part of the church of God. If you really know you are serving God and you know that you have a purpose, you have a goal, you have, you have, you have where you are going, you have a home upstairs. Competition should not be part of the church of God. Yes, you play your part, I play my part. If you cannot read the Bible and I can read the Bible, yes, be happy for me. If you cannot, if, 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 I, if I cannot preach and you can preach so well, come on, I should be happy with you. Yes, if, if I don't have money to support the work of God, but you have money to support the work of God, I should be able to thank God for your life and keep on encouraging you to do better. I should not hold, you, hold any grudge against you because you are helping the ministry financially. I should not have any grudge against you because you are the best singer in the church. I should not hold any grudge against you because you cannot evangelize, but I can evangelize. You don't win so, but I can win so. You should not, you should not condemn me. You should not hate me for that. Yes, if I cannot interpret and somebody else can interpret, I should rather encourage that person. Yes, if I cannot preach, yes, if you cannot preach, but I can preach. Yes, I should rather encourage you. If I had the gift of prophecy and you don't have the gift of prophecy, I should not never look down on you. Rather, I should encourage you and bring you up. Come on, am I talking to somebody there? There should never be competition in the house of God. The house of God is not a house of fashion. Like many do today. We should, we should cover ourselves, yes. We should cover ourselves. We should be neat because our God is neat. 
But that should not be our primary goal. Competition everywhere in the house of God today. Yes, people go to the house of God and after service they go and drink beer. And the following Sunday, and people like that, they are the people who want to control the church with the pastor. <laughs> God have mercy. Yes, yes. Many Christians today, they do not know what brought them to Christ. Immediately Jesus Christ solved their problem, they grow wings and they begin to do many things. Yes, yes. They begin to do many things. They begin to control the pastor. They begin to challenge the pastor on many things. They will say, hey, he's one doing it himself. He's doing it alone. If nobody know hear you, God hear you. Change today. Know the reason why you went to church. Be focused. Be focused. Be focused and be focused. Be focused because you have a role to play. If you don't have money to give, somebody have money to give, don't condemn them. Don't say they are the people doing it alone. You two punch to boot and let God bless you because you are not created to be useless. Yes, yes, you are not created to be useless. You have a role to play. Hallelujah. Because we all are running the same race. Hallelujah. Brother Sema Tete, God bless you for watching. God bless you for watching. Yes, you are blessed. Share the message. Share the message to all the church members. Hallelujah. All of us are running the race. If you can sing and I cannot sing, I should not crucify you because you are a good singer. I should rather thank God for your life and bless your life. If my role is to win soul and I can win soul very well and I bring people to God every Sunday, you two should not condemn me. Rather say, oh, I thank God for the lives of my pastor. Hallelujah. If I don't know how to preach well, but you know how to preach well, hey, come on. You take over from me and be preach well and let the church grow because you have a role to play too. As I have a role to play too. Hallelujah, somebody. So I want you to listen to me right now that we are running the same race. If you are a senior elder, if you are a bishop, if you are a choir, if you are an usher, if you are a kinner, if you are a church member, we are ending at the same spot. All of us who are going to face the same judgments. Jesus will not say all the elders come this side. Jesus will not say all the choir come this side. Jesus will not say pastor's wife come this side. Jesus will not say pastor's husband come this side. Jesus will not say pastor's children come this side. People, Jesus will not say elder children come this side. Jesus did not say, will not say ordinary member come this side. In fact, in the sight of God, there is no ordinary member. We are all equal before God. We are all one before God. The same measurement God will use to judge a bishop is the same measurement God will use to judge and the, the people coming to church. The same measurement he will use to the same measurement God will use to judge a leader is the same measurement God will use to judge an usher. So every one of us, we are running the same race. Play your part. And I'll play my part. Don't condemn another person. Face the reason why you have come to church to worship God. Face that one for your salvation. <laughs> salvation is personal. Abraham Akute, God bless you for watching. Yes. If everybody is going wrong among your friends, be bold enough to correct them. If they don't want to change, focus your own, carry your cross and follow Jesus Christ. Don't join bad one God. Don't play politics in the house of God because it before God, every one of us will surely give account of what and what we have done. Let us join hand and grow somebody. Let us join hand and bless somebody. Let us win soul for Christ. You remember what brought you to God. That is what will prepare you to do what is right. Support your church. Support your family. Support the needy. Samuel Egboho. God bless you, my son, my brother. God bless you from America. Thanks so much. I hope that is doing well. Yes, that's, that's one of my boys in the Salvation Army many years ago. Yeah, a barrister in America. God bless you so much, Sammy. So what am I talking about? We all are running the same race. We should never practice sectionalism in the church. No classic arrangement. Yes. Yes, yes, we should not humiliate anybody in the church because we are equal before God. Both the rich and the poor should worship God together. Those who are rich, help those who are poor. The poor, 
Keep on praying and continue to pray for those who have and love them all. One day you will be rich like Jabez. If you don't have, don't criticize those who have. Don't tell them that they are the ones who have it. They should do it. No, don't do that. You are causing yourself by doing that. We are all running the same race. All of us. We give a kind of our stewardship. Yes. If you are an evangelist in the church, your role is to win soul. Keep on winning soul for the Lord. Yes. If you belong to the, to the department of hospitality, God has really blessed you to support the ministry. Don't look at left. Don't look at right. Don't listen to what people are saying. Do your bit. Do your best. And leave the rest for God. We are all running the same race. If you are a choir, keep on singing for the Lord. Keep on dancing for the Lord. If they say you know too much, if they say you are the only person in the church, don't mind it. Close your ears. We are all running the same race. Jesus, eternal kingdom is our race. In our Father's house, there are many mansions there. Yeah, we sing a song in Ghana here. I have another world in view. I have another world in view. My Savior is gone to prepare the place for me. I have another world in view. That should be our goal. I have another world in view, in view. I have another world in view. I have another world in view, in view. I have another world in view. My Savior's gone to prepare me a place. I have another world in view. My Savior's gone to prepare me a place. I have another world in view. So anything we do, we should know that there is another world, and that is our ultimate goal. That is that is our that is our ultimate place. This world is not our own. We are just passing by. Every activity that we have here is being recorded for us over there. Our permanent home is over there. I pray that may God grant us grace to live an upright life so that we can make heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. So, my short message, as you have heard, we are all running the same race. Whether you are an archbishop, whether I'm a bishop, whether he's an usher, whether he's a pastor's wife, whether he's, he's, a, he's an evangelist or pastor husband, everybody must walk out their salvation with fear and trembling. We should never allow anybody to control you and to, 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 to lead you to commit sin against God again. You are not going to church to worship a man. You are not going to church to worship a woman. You are not going to church to worship your pastor. You are not going to church to worship your leader. You are going there to worship your God. So be focused on your mission. Let me end by just reminding us what the Bible tells us in the book of James 4, verse 7. Therefore, submit to God. Therefore, submit yourself to God. Receive the devil and he will flee from you. Devil is everywhere. I'm sorry to say, even the house of God, devil is operating to an unsuspecting believers. Yes, Jesus was preaching at the synagogue and there was a man, demon possessed there. And as Jesus was preaching, he shouted and cried out, you man of son of God, what do you want from me? That man too was sitting down among the congregation, listening to the sermon, when our Savior himself was preaching. And Jesus cast out the demon. He was there. He was there. He was there listening to message. So if that could happen, even in the days of Jesus Christ, don't be surprised. You can have such people in the house of God. They are going to church not to be saved, but to cause distractions to other people who want to be saved. They don't want to enter the kingdom of God, but they are fencing people who want to enter. They are sending them out. They don't want to change their characters. They don't want to change their old ways. But those who want to change their old ways, they are drawing them closer to, to influence them negatively. People who are supposed to be counselors, counseling young, young ones, counseling, I mean, young Christians, unfortunately, those who know better, those who have tasted the power and grace of God, unfortunately, they are the same person 
who will be encouraging things that are antichrist in the house of God. But Jesus is telling us in the book of James 4 verse 7, Submit yourself to God. Receive the devil. And he will run away from you. Listen to me. If you submit yourself to God, Satan will run away from you. But if you fail to submit yourself to God, Satan will start coming closer to you. This is 2018, my dear brothers and sisters. Anything that will make you behave in a manner that does not please God, stay away from it because God will bless you this year. This year is a year of uncommon blessing. This year is a year of oversized blessing. The devil can never disturb you. The devil can never stop you. Enemy can never stop you. The moment you remain focused, you will get to your eternal kingdom. Your children will be blessed. Your husband will bless. Your husband will bless. Everything you touch on earth shall be blessed. This is my short message for you, my viewer, this afternoon. Do not forget, we are all running the same race. We are all running the same race. We are all running the same race. Don't let anybody look down on you. Yes, keep on doing the work of God. Don't let anybody look down on you. The church of God does not belong to any family. It belongs to God. Anybody who looks down on you, anybody who discourages you to stop doing the work of God, continue doing it. Listen to my song again. That is my latest music. Don't look down on me because I am blessed. Tell yourself there, I am blessed. Come on. Oh, yes. Come on. Yes, I'm blessed. Yeah, this is my music. Title, I'm blessed. Don't look down on me, don't look down on me, don't look down on me. Don't look down on me, don't look down on me, don't look down on me. Hey, oh, I am blessed. Hey, oh, oh, hey, you are blessed. Mm. Hey, some people say. I be poor, I no get money. They call me names. They say I be a cool baller. But the no no say, Jesus now my banker. He cares for me. He protects my life. Yeah, everywhere I go, I the wind, I the shine. Look at me well, well. Come on, look at me well, well. Eh? Look at me well, well. Mm. Look at me well, well. I'm a miracle child. You are a miracle child. I am blessed. Sing it. I am blessed. Sing it. I am blessed. Sing it. I am blessed. 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 You are 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 blessed. Thank you very much for watching this message. Don't let anybody look down on you in your church. We are all running the same race. The church belongs to you. The church does not belong to any family. It's the church of God. What you should do is play your part. Let me play my part. For generation yet unborn to read about you. Lay a good legacy for children yet unborn. For one day, we all shall give account of our stewardship unto God. May God bless you. May God use this message to transform you. I want to pray with you. Father, I thank you so much for this special message you've given to your children this afternoon. Is there anyone among my people listening to me right now who do not really know why they go to church? Who do not really know the purpose of their being a Christian? Father, let this message change them in the name of Jesus Christ. As many as have listened to the sound of my voice, in everywhere they find themselves in the church, in the house of God, in their office, let them continue to show brotherly love to one another as a Christian. Let us not raise ourselves too high than what you have put us into. Help us to humble ourselves and to achieve our God's given vision. Help us to love our neighbor as ourselves, O oh God. Because your kingdom come. That is our prayer. May your kingdom come. May your kingdom come. And on the last day, only true believers shall be raptured. Thank you, Lord, for this message. Thank you, Lord, for blessing your children. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Once again, my name is Bishop Peter Kayode Falarumo. I'm a Nigerian from Akure, on those states. But I've been in Ghana for some years now, doing the work of my father. 
I am running my race. And I will never allow anybody to stop me. Because Jesus Christ is my captain. You too, you are running your race wherever you are. Don't allow anybody to stop you running the race. Thank you so very much for listening to me. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 I can see you are blessed. Please share this message to all your contact. God bless you. Thank you very much.